Pay, um, Bill K Marketing. Uh, last week did a presentation on Hootsuite, and I'm going to go over that again today. Uh, is anyone familiar with Hootsuite? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I know you know I showed you. <laughs> and we, last week went over it. Uh, Hootsuite is a social media tool to distribute your social media posts. So what that means is everybody's on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, um, Instagram, Pinterest, uh, there's a whole list of different social media sites out there. Uh, Hootsuite is a centralized location to go in, uh, manage your posts, your feeds, your updates, all in one spot so you don't have to go to each individual spot and then post them. Um, it's a free service at the entry level. There's two other uh, plans. There's a pro and an enterprise. The um, pro will give you multiple, uh, you know, usernames. So what that means is, so say you have three different Facebook, um, different Facebook names, your company, yourself, and maybe you have two companies or three companies. It only the free version only allows up to three. So once you get past that third one, then you have to start paying. So that's the big difference. Or you create a whole nother sign-in and everything in the Hootsuite. Uh, the big advantages of Hootsuite are you can track all your information. It does work with Twitter, even though it's a hundred and so 140 characters. It will list that for you and um, keep track of it. So once you get to it, it will tell you and you know anything over that won't post on Twitter. What I um, the other thing is that people always want to know who what everybody else is using Facebook uses Hootsuite okay even though Facebook is a social site Facebook still posts to Twitter and LinkedIn and Google and everywhere else and they use Hootsuite platform in order to do that uh, the, pre the White House uses Hootsuite and along with a lot of other big names um, on the back of the page I did two pictures of what it looks like to post the, the top one shows you your calendar so what you can do is you can go in so maybe take an hour out of your week and set up all your social media for the full week so one of the things that people say to me is uh, I don't have the time to post or you know I'm, I post on a Tuesday but then I forget to post Wednesday Thursday and then I remember Friday this gives you the ability to take an hour to two hours out of your work week sit down and then set up all your postings for the full week. Schedule them out. If you want to take longer time, you can do two week increments, a whole month, however you want to do it. But you can go in and schedule two to three posts, which is what I re recommend on a daily basis. And you know, do pictures, blog posts, video. You can take YouTube links and post them in there. And then you set it up for the whole week, so you're done. So Monday morning, you took two hours out of your day, and you're done for the rest of the week. You don't have to do it again until the following Monday. But your social media is going to keep active over those that, that whole week. Um, and then the second picture is the calendar to show you what you have scheduled for the coming week or month or however you do it. So it's pretty much that in a nutshell. I mean, it's more of a, a user thing once you get in. Um, the screen could be a little bit chaotic but uh, you know just take your time and, and go through it uh, my information is on the bottom I'll be more than happy uh, like you were saying I'm, I'm pretty nice of helping people and <laughs> on a free basis but uh, I don't have a problem with that and showing you how to do it and, and get you started uh, it's a great tool to help you stay active on social media as we've seen with our OB networking group that we've gone from seven people to almost 30 people in the afternoon and now we have a morning session and that's because of mainly from Facebook and social media so it's definitely a tool for small businesses to use. Do you have another uh, one? I think I have yeah, a, I can. one at home that has done. Absolutely. Um, so anybody have any questions? Or? Yes. So how did you learn Hootsuite? Did you just kind of play with it or did you find a, a training video or how did you initially learn Working it? Working at a dealership, uh, I had someone come in from one of our companies and said, you know, I heard this company called Hootsuite. This Hootsuite's only relatively five to six years old. It's pretty new, but it does have over nine million current users and growing. 
Um, but that, that's where I just kind of went in and, you know, they have very good tutorials and like everything else online nowadays, there's either a video or different um, blog sites or you can read to learn how to do it. And then I just kind of fooled with it. And then for someone watching this video on YouTube or on Facebook, how would they get in touch with you if they had any questions on your services? Either contact through the OB Networking Group or my website's BillKMarketing.com um, or my phone number is 310-213-5093. Awesome. Thank you. No problem. Any questions? Do you mm -hmm. do social media? Mm -hmm. So what are you using right now? Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter. Um, Snap Retail. I'm not sure if Snap Retail is on it. It might be. Snap Retail helps me make my flyers. Okay. And then you can do different posts where it will post really? onto. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like, can you send e emails and stuff, like my email list. and stuff like that? Okay. Um, and you go into each one individually, right? To do your stuff? Yes. You, uh... Well, Instagram will post onto Groupon. Okay, right. not group on. That's a whole other thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, Instagram will go on to my chameleon page and to Twitter. Okay. But they don't go on to Pinterest yet. Right. Yeah, see, they're all starting to try and form their own platforms to integrate with each other. But, like I said, Hootsuite's a pretty good one. There's a couple other ones out there. I don't know the names off the top of my head. But um, this would eliminate going to different spots, which is pretty good. Hey, Bill. Yes. Um, my problem is always what content to post. Do you have any general ideas for all businesses? Well, um, and Chuck would probably agree with me. One of the, the biggest things is video. Um, video, YouTube, you know, you can catch it. You, you create a video and you just catch that short link on there and post it. Uh, anything that you ever post, even if it's a short kind of question or or anything like you're going to post a, something on Facebook, try to always attach a photo with it. Even if it's, you know, you don't have to have a photo of you or something like that, or just go pull a photo offline. Uh, I, I forget the increase. It's like 50 or 60% of posts with a picture get more action than without a photo or a picture. Um, I'm a big believer in posting conversational type of scenarios. Uh, just like, you know, what are you doing today or things like that. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of businesses think they have to post about their business, but you don't. What people, what do you do? I always think of myself. What do I do on social media? What do I, what interests me when I'm flipping through? And it's usually just a simple question uh, around football season. What are the Chargers doing or what is this? Or, you know, World Cup was a big thing. It, it had the most action of any sporting event ever on social media and just like did you watch the match today or what did you think of it so you know what's your our icebreaker how do you take your coffee a simple how do you take your coffee so it doesn't matter what business you do everybody drinks coffee so it's just really what you're going for is interaction but uh, videos are really good they get shared a lot um, the quirky videos there's been a lot of we talk about pets and dogs here a lot there's been a lot of videos with just little babies and the puppy crawling on up. I'm sure I've seen that in the little the seat the the puppy crawled up and slept next to the baby. And it just, it, everybody smiled here just it talking was, about Aww. it. Yeah. Aww. And that's what you're going for on social media. It's social. It's not, we try to say, okay, here's social, here's business. If you put them together, then it works. If you're trying to do business, then people turn it off. You know, if you're trying to be too social, then they're like, oh, what is this about? So you kind of, you have to find that right mix. You know, a lot of people ask about, we talk about this, uh, business pages. And because they go, well, I don't want my friends to get bombarded with if I'm a real estate agent. Well, all your friends know you're a real estate agent. Why not do both? Be socially and post once in a while about real estate, this and that. The nice things about social media and Twitter posts or Facebook. If you want to read it, you read it. If you don't, you just keep scrolling. So, you know, that's the worst that can happen. The other thing is frequency of posts. Uh, like I said, two to three times, unless you have something like really pending or whatnot. Uh, that's what I recommend and scatter them. Two to three times a week. Two to three 
two times a day. Oh, it is. If you're if you're oh, posting right. information, uh, how many times do you do any kind of personal posting on Facebook? Do you find yourself yeah, some days? Yeah, see some. <laughs> I'm not a big. And I would like to do more. I mean, both for. Yeah. I'm just not going to share my thoughts on Facebook all the time. I just it's not a natural thing for me. Right, but you read it. I'm trying to. I definitely but it, read it, and yeah. I mean, really, I mean, the majority of my posts are about my kids. Well, that's really kids. <laughs> And everybody complains about it, but then you find yourself doing it. Kids, food, pets, those are the things, but those are the social things. What do you, when you walk into the cafe here, what do you end up talking to someone about? If you have your puppy or dog with you, you talk about your dog, or you talk about your kids. You know, it's the, it's the coffee shop online. And everyone tries to rethink what to do on it when they kind of just simplify it. Just act normal. Yeah. What do you think about right. posting uh, testimonials, video, or otherwise on like a business page for your own business? Well, that's the, and that's the purpose of like a business page. I would say is if you're you're posting your testimonials, but what's wrong with posting a testimonial about you on your personal page? You know what I mean? Nothing. I think they, it's great. Every, yeah. All your friends and family, right? They're know interested that in what you're, you're doing. Usually, what you do. Yeah. Why not post a little bit about yourself? I mean, obviously, you don't want to go overboard and every single day post how great you are, you know, but... I'm awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but there was a movie awesome. where the song is Everything is Awesome, so, I mean, the Lego movie is everybody loves, so... so can I... Yeah. But I heard it was really good. We had a DVD, so before we burn it out, you can borrow it. <laughs> yeah. So... Can I ask, do we just... Um, so to get started, we can we just Google Hootsuite and then it'll take us through the steps? Yeah, it's just Hootsuite.com and then it just, it, it asks you how you want to, you know, you create a user. You can create a user with your your Facebook login, I think they, your Facebook or Twitter login. Okay. If you want to create a whole new username and login. And then that first screen, it's sort of, show, it's hard to tell with these two pictures, but uh, there's a first screen and you start adding your streams. So you add like your Twitter. So, so what do you add, how do you add it? It will ask you, you click on it and say you want to add your Twitter. Uh -huh. And then it will ask you, you have to sign in to Twitter through Hootsuite. So the okay. So, so now it, it has it a connection. Mm -hmm. so and you don't once, have to copy and paste. No, oh, okay. once you sign into it, it's going to fill it. So now the screen's going to get full and you're going to be like, whoa. Because what, it's, what it does is, and then you can eliminate some of the different pieces. So it will put your, your, your Twitter feed in there. So you know the feed when you open up your Twitter and shows what everybody's tweeting. That you follow. I'm, I'm still kind of just learning this. Stuff. Right. I mean, I I'm trying to spend more time on it. Absolutely, and, and that's the thing. Like like I said, this is a streamline to help you use it because I do this for a living. Chuck and I, we, we do these types of things, so we know how to do it and look at it and everything else. We don't have a boutique. We don't do like hiring and recruiting, or I don't sell houses. So. It's difficult to expect you to know how to do social media. You know, that's what I'm telling people all the time. They go, oh, I want to learn. I want to learn how to, why? As much as it's great to learn how to do it and have an idea how to do it, if you become an expert in social media and everything else, then that means you're not focusing on what you do, what the whole purpose of your business. It's just like marketing. Nobody, you know, years ago, traditional news, you know, car dealerships still do newspapers. They have to. But the traditional marketing was newspapers and TV commercials and things like that. Back then, if I owned a boutique or something like that, I didn't say, well, I have to learn how to make a commercial. I have to learn how to do newspaper ads. No, there was somebody I, that came I in. I do like this, though. Right. Like well, that's the thing. I Everybody like likes the social. So that's why that's why it's good. You know, you have a lot of business owners learning it. Mm -hmm. And this is a good tool to help you with that. But like you're back to what you're saying. That, so you sign in through it. It pulls all your Twitter. You sign in through your Facebook, it'll pull all your Facebook. And then you can change, manipulate the screen to show what you want it to show. So if you want it to show your timeline, it can show your timeline, your messages, your this and that. And then the, this top screen is just how you, it's called the publisher. Once you click on publisher, it gives you an option to choose. Do you want to publish it on Facebook, Twitter, um, Google Plus, LinkedIn? Because you can, say you just want to post to two of them, Twitter and Facebook. You can just click those two and set a post just for Twitter and Facebook. If you want to post on just Pinterest, you can do it there. Um, so it gives you that ability to manipulate 
where you're posting what. Or if you want to just post on everything, you can pick it all and it'll post to all of them. And, and what are what are the different prices? Do you know offhand, like if you were to go to the next level? The next level, it, it starts at eight ninety nine, and then goes up. How many how many profiles do you have? Is what they're called. On uh, on say on Facebook, do you so you have to so you'd be fine with the free version. So if you have two, I, two, I, two, if two, I wanted to your Facebook page, I couldn't find your the, Facebook the page. The Chameleon Hair Lounge and Boutique. Huh? The Chameleon Hair Lounge and Boutique. It's Is there. It I'll help you. Mm -hmm. And then I find that on my phone, it's supposed to go from Instagram to my chameleon page, but it no. gets posted onto my personal page, even though it says that it's posting so, as the chameleon. Do you Hootsuite have? Has a mobile app, right? Right. You could you can even use Hootsuite on your on your phone, to where you just go right in and post it. But do you use the Facebook pages? Is that what you're using to post? When you say you post and it goes to your. I just. Um, well, if I take a picture of Instagram, then I try and post it to my chameleon page. It's supposed to go to my chameleon page, right? not my personal page. Oh, okay. I brought everything. So and even though it says it on my phone, it's still going to my personal page. So I kind of slowed down on that. Yeah, we have to look at the link, what it's, it's doing I brought there. Every, I brought everything. <laughs> so yeah, 899 because I, I do have more than two. I mean, I have Facebook. T I won't, if I no, 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 you can them. use... So, okay, so when, I, when I say profiles, it means if you have more than three profiles for all of them. Does that make sense? So, all right, so you have Each a Facebook. Each one of them gets three right. profiles. Okay. Yes. Oh, so, okay. so say you have a Facebook, a Twitter, a LinkedIn. It's all under one username and password. It's okay. free. Um, it's when you start to, the, when you have to pay your for companies, like, uh, you know, if you're, I always use dealerships, okay? So... Say you're a dealer group and you own a Toyota, Nissan, Honda, Chevy stores. And instead of having a different login for each store, it would have one login and you would see all the different profiles. Does that make sense? For each Facebook page for each. Each brand. right. So it's when it's once if you have four Facebook pages, all different profiles, then you would have to pay for the Hootsuite to see them under one login. Got it. Okay. I manage a lot of different companies. I just create logins for each company for, through Hootsuite. So it's still free. You understand what I'm saying? So say like I managed everyone at this table, I would have a login just for her so that it would be free. And then hers, and then yours. And, and then do you do like, do you, do you go to places and put people up? Yeah. Like I said, like, I could come in. But I mean, not free. I mean, do you yes. do that? Okay. Yes. Yeah, Sometimes I have, it's just easy, just like, this is what I need. Absolutely. When and, I lived in the suite, I was like, uh, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how to start this. I, and I'm pretty good on, you know, online, but that, that page was daunting, and I was just like, no, please help. And like what I do is I try to sit with you, and like you said, you, you find an interest. Some people don't have an interest in it, and then we just have a business relationship, and I have a monthly service to help you with your social media. Um, some people I work with for two to three months at, at teaching them because they want to learn and then, you know, yeah. And if you want help down the line, you contact me. And that's, I mean, I'm very customizable. So, you know, different strokes. For, yeah, I would rather just poetry. get get somebody to come do it and just say, here it is. And that's what was my point earlier was sometimes it's better. What, what social media has done as a marketing is is created business owners to think they can do both does that make sense and not that you can't but there's still people that specialize in social media marketing that will always do it because you know obviously they're the one, that's their focus in life where yours is the boutique and so on and so forth so yeah we could definitely and the mar i think it's fun the marketing part of it for the boutique it's all because i don't want to do hair like right. I've been doing it for a long time and I want to back off and just focus on my boutique and I'm learning different ways to market it and get it's fun well it, it, absolutely see that's that's what got me into it you know I I love selling cars and helping people but I went into the internet department and started selling through the internet and learned different ways to market the dealership through the internet and it, it does it that's why I said like you know a lot of people again ask what do you post what content do you post fun be fun People like yeah. fun. 
You know, if you smile and laugh, then they're going to come in, they're going to buy, they're going to feel comfortable, they're going to sit down with you. And that's always been my biggest thing is if you're, if you're having fun, then something's working right there. So, And that's how you should approach social media marketing is have fun with it. I mean, even with the buy it now, I, I have fun with that. I'm like yeah. meeting a lot of people and a lot of people come and say, I didn't even know you're here. How long have you been here? 12 years? Yeah. <laughs> and I was up the street four years. And well, that's the other thing that I can show you, and I know, know Chuck's big on that, is uh, the most frustrating thing for people and what we do is, with, like pizza. I would use pizza, for example, right? I love pizza. I love a good pizza. I can go online in my house and Google pizza places, and something will show up 10 blocks or 10 miles away, right? And then I could walk my dog and walk by a great pizza place, but they don't show up when I search them on Google. And that's just because of the back end of their right. website is not, it's not designed to be found. And that's the other thing that a lot of business owners don't understand is, is how to be found online. And that's, that's important nowadays because we all, we all Google it or ask Siri or whatever we have to do. And that's another thing where, with content, video different things like that. YouTube's one of the largest search engines out there. It's people also think, by yeah, people think of Google, uh, but YouTube is, is used as a search engine more um, because people are always searching things. And if you have the right videos with the right information, the right tags on SEO factor in there, then you're gonna show up when people search for a boutique, you know, big. And that 12 year thing becomes minimal. People know you right away. Well, we're busy. I'm just I'm taking it to a different. Absolutely. Like, I have a little store in there now. Yeah. So that's a complete, whole nother business. Right. You just you evolved <laughs> and, and started a whole, exactly a whole and nother. And slowly entity. transitioning. I, yeah. Well, that's the fun part is getting that going, right? Mm -hmm. Any questions? Okay. Well, I mean, if you have any other questions, you let me know. I work with anyone. So. Thank Great job. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you.